Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is wine fermentation and its details. Let's start with a short introduction of wine fermentation. Wine can be defined as a fermented product made from a fine quality of ripe grapes and modified by cellular treatment. Now, wine is a fermented product which is obtained from ripe grapes that too of fine quality and this ripe grapes are modified by cellular treatment. Now, sugar is present in grapes. Here we use ripe grapes. So, this ripe grapes undergo fermentation. They are inoculated with yeast culture and under anaerobic conditions, this sugar which is present in grapes is fermented into alcohol, carbon dioxide and byproducts. So, these are the three products which are obtained by fermentation of grapes. Now, here I want to tell you two important points. Wine, first of all, is a fermented product and not a distillery product. Secondly, the alcohol content of wine is 10% to 14% and the alcohol content of appetizer wine is 14% to 20%. Now basically there are 5 types of wine. The first is appetizer wine, second is red table wine, third is white table wine, fourth is desert wine and fifth is sparkling wine. Now here in the following table I have shown types of wine, their alcohol content and examples. Now the first is appetizer wine. Examples are California sherry wine and the alcohol content is 20%. The second one is red table wine. The examples of Cabmate, Zinfandel and the alcohol content is 10 to 14%. The third one is white table wine. The examples of Chardonnay and Riesling, these are the examples of white table wine and the alcohol percent is 10 to 14 percent. The fourth one is desert wine, the examples are sweet red wine, fortified wine and the alcohol content is 20 percent and the last one that is the fifth one is sparkling wine and the examples are rose champagne and sparkling red wine. And the alcohol content of sparkling wine is 10 to 14 percent. Here we are going to discuss about red table wine fermentation in detail. Now red table wine is produced from red or black grapes. So here red or black color grapes are used for fermentation of red table wine. The alcohol content of red table wine is 10 to 14 percent. Further, in the process of wine making, the grape juice is converted to alcoholic beverage by a selected strain of yeast. So here, yeast cells are used as a fermentation organism in the process of wine making. Now, the sugar present in grape juice is converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide. As I told you before, the, these are the products that is ethanol, carbon dioxide and byproducts are produced in fermentation of grapes. Here in this article we are going to study fermentation of red table wine in detail. In wine fermentation the black or grape juice of proper maturity are selected. So here a experienced, pers experienced person select proper uh, select the grapes of proper maturity and further these selected grapes are crushed, stemmed and treated with sulfur dioxide. Now here now, this mat proper maturity grapes are first of all they are crushed, secondly they are stemmed. Stem means removal of stem, leaves, whatever extra material except grapes is present in that mixture, that extra material is removed. Further, they are treated with sulfur dioxide. Now, the purpose of treating this mixture with sulfur dioxide, there are two purposes. First of all, sterilization of this material that is the grapes, crushed grapes that is elimination of unwanted yeast cells, microflora, unwanted microbes are eliminated. Secondly, the sulfur dioxide avoids oxidation of wine. So, these are the two purpose of using sulfur dioxide. Further, this treated fermentation media is inoculated with a pure culture of yeast cells. Now, the fermentation is carried out and after the short period of time, 
the fermentation media is drawn off so first of all the initial primary fermentation is carried out for a short period of time and after that short period of time this fermentation media is drawn off and placed in a fermentation tank for further fermentation here fermentation red table wine fermentation is carried out in two steps further this wine is rat stored and aged and after aging this wine is clarified and packed let's see the flow chart of red table wine fermentation red table wine fermentation is carried out basically in two steps first one is primary fermentation and second one is secondary fermentation now let's see primary fermentation in detail now first of all grapes of proper maturity are selected here black and red color grapes are selected further these grapes are stemmed and crushed stemmed means removal of small stems leaves the extra material except the whole grape is removed now after stem process these grapes are crushed after crushing we get grape juice and pomace now what is now grape juice we all know pomace is the skin so this mixture together the grape juice as well as the skin of grapes now this mixture is called as pomace now further this mixture is treated with sulfur dioxide i have told you the reasons why it is treated with sulfur dioxide further the nutritional value is checked after checking nutritional value this grape juice is inoculated with yeast inoculum and primary fermentation is carried out for few hours at 21.1 to 23.9 degree celsius so this is the optimum temperature that is 21.1 to 23.9 degree celsius and the primary fermentation is carried out for specific hours now here after few hours this fermentation is stopped and the wine is filtered after stopping this fermentation this whatever mixture is present this mixture is then filtered and we get the wine now let's see secondary fermentation now in secondary fermentation the filtered wine is stored for 7 to 11 days till co2 escapes completely now as we know the by products now when we carry out wine fermentation we get ethanol we get carbon dioxide and we get by products now after filtration we get a clear wine and this wine first of all it is kept for 7 to 11 days till the carbon dioxide which is one of the by products or which is one of the products we get after wine fermentation should be escaped completely so it the wine is stored for 7 to 11 days for the unusual cellar treatment is carried out after unusual cellar treatment the packing of wine is carried out in bottles for the this wine is pasteurized so this whole bottle is went through pasteurization and then it is open for sale let's discuss some more details of wine fermentation first of all wine fermentation is carried out in the following steps first one is raw material initially the raw material is selected okay the grapes of proper maturity and fine quality are selected now the maturity of grapes is determined by balling degree of grape juice so this is one of the method for determination of proper maturity of grapes secondly stemming and crushing of grapes now stemming as i told you before removal of stem leaves the extra material except grapes should be removed and after removing this stems and this extra material these grapes are crushed in a clean machine now this machine should have some properties now see the machine should be made up of stainless steel nickel or inconel these metals are oxidation and corrosion resistant so they do not inhibit any ions in the uh, mixture we can say and they do not interfere in the fermentation process for the treatment before fermentation now what is the treatment that is given to the juice now the juice obtained after crushing and steaming of grapes and the pomace that is the stem skin and seeds of grapes contain the surface microflora now all this mixture once it is uh, see 
when we crush the grapes now first of all we get grape juice and second we get the pomes now pomes contains some amount of stem skin of grapes as well as seed of grapes and this all substances they contain the surface microflora that was present on the grapes so now it is important to remove this microflora and this microflora is removed by sulfur dioxide gas so as i told you before ki this pomes and grape juice is treated with sulfur dioxide so here gas is used okay now this sulfur dioxide gas binds with the surface microflora and kills it and inhibits the growth of unwanted microflora now before starting the fermentation this is an important step that should be carried out another option is pasteurization but if the juice or uh, juice of grapes is treated with pasteurization technique it can cause a bad odor from grape juice which can affect the quality of wine so here we do not use pasteurization technique so here the technique that is used for sterilization of grape juice and pomes is treatment with sulfur dioxide gas now the fourth one is primary fermentation of wine fermentation of organism used in saccharomyces cerevisiae or saccharomyces ellipsoides the best strain used are burgundy and tokia secondly the fermentation media is sterilized for 6 hours with sulfur dioxide so sterilization time is 6 hours after sterilization the fermentation media is checked for optimum levels of sugar nutrients acidity carbon and nitrogen content so the nutrients le levels are checked now further after checking the nutrient content the fermentation media is added with 2 to 5 percent of inoculum in aseptic conditions after addition of inoculum aeration process is started and aeration is very important in wine fermentation because of aerobic microorganism and it is important for the growth of yeast and alcohol production now here after addition of inoculum immediately aeration process is started because uh, we are using here aerobic microorganism for wine fermentation and they need oxygen for their growth so aeration is very important further the aeration conti condition is continued for few hours and then the anaerobic condition is obtained now once the fermentation is carried out this aeration condition continues for few hours and after few hours anaerobic condition develops once the anaerobic condition develops the pomes that is the mixture of skin seed and stems they start to float on the surface of the fermentation media and this pomes is dumped twice in the fermentation media now dumping of pomes is important for development of color and tannin tannin is actually the taste of wine so this pomes is very important for color and tannin of wine further the optimum temperature maintained during fermentation is 21 to 1 degree celsius to 23 to 9 degree celsius now the proper development of color and tannin is observed and fermentation is stopped generally incubation of first fermentation is three to four days now see when the first firm primary fermentation is carried out the samples of fermentation media are checked until a proper color and a proper taste that is tannin of the wine is developed this fermentation is carried out once a desired color and taste is obtained this fermentation is stopped generally incubation of first fermentation is for three to four days now let's see secondary fermentation the primary fermentation is stopped after the development of desired color and tannin of wine in secondary fermentation of wine the wine is withdrawn off from primary fermenter and filtered off this wine is filtration of this wine is carried out now this filtered wine is called as fine run wine and now this wine is carried out for further fermentation now see in secondary fermentation when the primary fermentation is stopped in secondary fermentation the wine is taken out okay this wine is filtered this wine is called as fine run wine and this filtered wine is further used for secondary fermentation now this wine is stored for 7 to 11 days in fermentation tank at 21 to 1 degree to 23.9 degrees celsius in a closed storage tank equipped with bunks 
Now this tank with bungs helps for removal of excess carbon dioxide. Now these are specific type of tanks that are used for secondary fermentation of wine. This wine is stored in that tanks for 7 to 11 days. This tank contains bungs and these bungs helps for removal of carbon dioxide. Now the sixth one is unusual cellar treatment. After removal of carbon dioxide, the wine is drawn off. Now after that is after 7 to 11 days, the wine is drawn off and undergoes the following steps. First is racking, storing, aging and clarification. Okay, first is racking. The drawn off wine from secondary fermentation tank contains sediments of potassium bitartarate, protein and some particulate matter. Now this wine it contains sediments. Now so this wine is stored in tanks for 1 to 2 months for sedimentation of potassium bitartarate protein and some particular matter. Now drawing this wine from this sedimented matter is called as racking process. This wine is stored at cold temperature because potassium tartarate settles rapidly at low temperature. Racking process helps in clarification of wine. Now see in unusual cellar treatment first is racking, storing, aging and clarification. In racking what is done when we draw off the wine from secondary fermentation it contains some sediments okay that is potassium bitartarate mainly protein and some particulate matter. Now this wine it is kept for 1 to 2 months for sedimentation and this wine is kept at cold temperature because potassium tartarate and protein they get sedimented at cold temperature okay that is at low temperature and this sedimentation is process is also called as clarification of wine now second is storing and aging storing of wine in tank is one method of aging of wine storing and aging of wine causes two major changes in wine first is clarification of wine and second is development of flavor in the wine now there is one more method of storing and aging of wine and that is flash pasteurization that is this is the fast and the quick method and in this method the wine is held for 71.9 degrees celsius for 15 seconds now at this why at this temperature the wine is held because the wine contains proteins as well as potassium bitartarate now as we know proteins get coagulated at high temperature so at this temperature that is 71.9 degrees celsius protein gets coagulated and after 15 seconds this wine is suddenly brought down to low temperature that is minus 2.78 degrees celsius to minus 4.44 degrees celsius now here at this low temperature potassium bitartarate gets sedimented now the two things that were suspended in that wine that is protein and potassium bitartarate can be easily removed by filtration process for the clarification the clarification process is carried out after aging process now the clarifying agents like gelatin casein betonin are used now here imagine a fermentation tank now these are the clarifying agents that is gelatin casein and betonin any one for clarifying agent is suspended on the surface of the tank now this suspended particles slowly slowly they settle down or we can uh, say they carry out sedimentation now when these agents are settling down they attach the other uh, other suspended particles present in the wine and they come together they settle down with these suspended particles also with the suspended particles with them and clarification process is carried out this seventh one is packing of wine the clarified wine is placed in barrels cans or bottles for sale bottles of small and medium size are pasteurized at 140 degrees celsius uh, fahrenheit that is 63 degrees celsius for 30 thank you for watching